It's a hunter's worst nightmare, having their trophy buck stolen. That's what happened to one Kakana man and his son while they were hunting up north. Tonight, they're hoping to warn other hunters of this alleged deer thief. NBC26's Raquel Lamel is live at 5 with their story. It's something hunters say just doesn't happen, having your kill stolen from you. But for this hunter, even having his deer tied up in the truck wasn't enough to keep someone from taking them. Where we sit, we can't see the vehicles. So. Chris Hutchison of Kakana is disappointed. It's a real empty, lost feeling. I mean, when it's, you get something stolen from you. Hutchison and his 19-year-old son shot two bucks opening day of deer hunting. They were keeping them in the back of the truck while they continued to hunt. When we got back to the truck, back to the campgrounds, we noticed someone had stolen a deer yesterday afternoon. Hutchison called the Marathon County Sheriff's Department and the DNR warden, hoping they could help. The DNR is looking into the case. There's not a whole lot of information that we can go on, and we kind of leave it up to the public um, to see if they know anything or know who it could have been. According to the warden, fines for stealing animals are pretty hefty, costing at minimum $2,000. For Hutchison, he says he hopes whoever took the deer really needed them. Lesson learned. Keep everything locked up. I mean, on lockdown, you can't, I guess you can't trust anybody. <laughs> In a phone call with the DNR warden, I was told it doesn't look like replacement tags will be issued for Hutchinson's stolen deer because they say it's too hard to prove. Raquel Lamel, NBC 26.